This video shows you how to set up Excel to dynamically calculate summary figures given your choice of reference point in time. To achieve this, we make use of reference date tables. It is the first of a five-part tutorial that helps you work smart by guiding you on how to set up an automated template. You can download the template at the link below. We promise that it will save you a lot of time and pain in the long run as you frequently update your reports. Today's goal, we want to set up a structure using Excel formula to let us automatically calculate total and year-on-year -year sales quantity whenever new data gets added. We will also create reference date tables, which are essential groundwork to make this template dynamically update the calculations based on your choice of reference point in time. For example, you could set the latest date to 2009-08 and get year-to-date figures calculated as of August 2009. In the very next instance, you could change the reference date to 2008-11 to get year-to-date figures recalculated as of November 2008. This gives you the flexibility to go back and forth in time to see how the figures have changed instead of switching between multiple versions of the same file saved at different times. There are two main templates in this file. First, the Sheet Template Excel uses regular Excel functions to automate your calculations. Second, Template Power Series improves on it by using Power Query and Power Pivot functions. Before we start automating using just regular Excel functions, you'll need to copy and paste in your raw data into the yellow highlighted cells in Sheet Raw Data. Alternatively, you can use our sample data to follow on. This tutorial will use Sheet's Raw Data template date table and template Excel. In this video, we map each row of your raw data's date to a year-year-year-year-month-month format. Then, we set up a reference date table. Finally, we summarize your figures to get monthly totals and year-on-year -year comparisons. These seemingly mundane fundamentals will be used in the next tutorial to make dynamic calculations possible. First, we map the raw data dates into year, 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 month, month format. Once your raw data is in, we start off the template by creating an additional column at the end of the table to get the raw data dates into year, 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 month, month format. We use them to automatically summarize calculations later on. There are many ways to do it. We have chosen to use year of date multiply by 100 plus month of date. Next, we set up a reference date table. We want to dynamically change the date reference in Sheet Template Excel and have all related time references updated accordingly. This will eventually make it possible to auto-calculate complex measures like rolling last 12 months totals and averages, year-to-date and financial year-to-date with just a change in date selection. To begin, we set up a reference date table in Sheet Template Date Table by keying in a date range in Year, 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 Month, Month format in column B. Beside it, we use column C to key in the corresponding Year, 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 Month, Month of the start of the respective financial years. This is useful for companies whose financial years do not follow the January to December cycle. To get the list of dates in Year, 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 Month, Month format to use in a drop down list, Select the entire range of cells containing the dates, click on the Cell Reference Display box, and then give the list a name. In this case, I've named it Year 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 Month Month or YYYYMM. To make referencing easy later on for months within a particular financial year, we will make another named range. Highlight both the YYYYMM and corresponding FY columns. Name this range YYYYMM underscore FY. Now switch over to Sheet Template Excel. We are now going to make a drop-down list of year, 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 month, month, so you can easily choose the reference date. Select the cell you want the reference date to be in, and click on the Data tab and Data Validation. Choose List from the Validation Criteria, and then set the source to the named range which you just created by using equal YYYYMM. Hit OK, and there you have a drop down list. I like using such lists for selections as they are fast and easy to select without making typo mistakes. 
Given your reference date, we can dynamically get the start of the calendar year, financial year and the preceding year's date references. We use left to extract the first four characters from the chosen year, 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 month, month. We then tag on 01 to get the start of the calendar year. However, this is in text form. To convert it back to numbers, we nest it within a value function. To get the respective start of financial year, we use VLOOKUP. We look up the selected year, 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 month, month, which in this case is 200908 from cell G3 from the named range YYYYMM underscore FY on sheet template date table and return the second column with an exact match using false. With our date references set up, we move on to more groundwork by summarizing figures. Still on Sheet Template Excel, input the categories to be summed up by in column B, where there are the yellow highlighted cells. Then, in cell K9, write a formula to find out the sum of sales quantity for the category Bluetooth headphone in the month of January 2007. Go ahead and input sum ifs, where sales quantity from Sheet Raw Data, column D, is to be summed up given the following two conditions are met. For the first condition, the category in column B of sheet raw data must match Bluetooth headphone in cell J9 of sheet template Excel. For the second condition, the year, 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 month, month of column E in sheet raw data must match 200701 in cell K8 of sheet template Excel. Notice the placement of the dollar signs in the cell references. This holds constant specific column and row references when we copy and paste the formula in K9 across the entire range of cells K9 to AT29. Finally, it's an easy last step to calculate year on year. We start in cell W33 as it is the first month that has a preceding year and simply divide cell W9 by K9 minus 1 to get percentage change. Notice that we nest the division within an if error so that we suppress NA values to make the tables look less cluttered. You may be wondering, why not just set these up using pivot tables? You can, and in fact it is much faster for simple totals. However, pivot tables don't work so well when it comes to dynamically updating and calculating more complex figures like totals for rolling last 12 months, year-to-date and financial year-to-date. With the basic setup, we will go on to show you how they enable your calculations to auto-update based on your choice of reference point in time. To learn how, continue on to part 2.